So at our center, um, most patients with first-line metastatic uh, ER-positive breast cancer are being treated with a CBK4-6 inhibitor along with their endocrine therapy. And because palbociclib was the first of the class on the market, that's the one that we became the most familiar with. Um, subsequently, abemocyclib was approved, and it has an indication as a single agent in patients who have been previously treated with endocrine therapy. And um, one of the questions that had not been answered in any of the trials was whether using a different CDK4-6 inhibitor after an initial one can still show any benefit. So that's uh, what we, you know, had inadvertently tried in these patients, and um, subsequently we decided we should look retrospectively back at them to see what sort of benefits they were getting from this treatment. Well, so out of the 21 patients on the trial, um, four of them had a response. Uh, again, that's not a very high response rate, but it's telling you that at least some patients are achieving a response. I think, you know, it comes down to what we've seen with a lot of these targeted therapies is how can we identify those patients who are getting a response. So in general, I think the, the results of our trial were, were relatively negative in that, you know, the majority of patients did not achieve a response or a clinical benefit from the addition of uh, abemocyclib sorry, not the addition, from being treated with abemocyclib after having had a previous CDK4-6 inhibitor. Um, but it's remarkable that there were four patients who did have a response.